high school is like any other educational campus with their teachers and students. However, what many don't know are the dark secrets that lie just beyond the horizon. The horrific stories of another time will make you look like you've never seen a ghost. Do you have any stories of like, ghost encounters here? Oh. Here as in this building or in this town or? In this area, yeah. Um, I'm actually not from this area. Well, it depends on whether you believe in that stuff or not. Ghosts are very real. Scooby-Doo don't lie. Do I believe in ghosts? Absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely I believe in ghosts. It's not even a question of if I believe in ghosts. It's, I've seen ghosts myself, so I know that they're real. And me and John Brinkler were cleaning. It was only me and him. Usually there's three of us, but... So, the, he, I handed him some toilet paper. Girls, locker room, locker slam. I said, hello. He answered. Walked outside the door, looked both ways, nobody around. This building, when you're here alone, is filled with sounds and, and moments and things that at least make you question whether you could possibly be here alone. I got a call from um, one of the secretaries at TRIP that the alarm had gone off at like 10 o'clock at night. So they asked me if I could look at the cameras to see if anything happened to set off the alarm. So I did, and around it was around 10 o'clock. Uh, there was a door in the hallway that just opened up by itself. But the door just slowly opened all on its own. There was nobody there. Oh, oh and the funny thing too, it was the day before Halloween. You get sounds of um, people walking when there's nobody else in the room, especially up there. When you are in the, if you're here in this area, you hear the footsteps. His name was uh, Bo Hood. He was a custodian here. What his book is, uh, it's fairly short, but it's all about how when he was working over at the Turner, uh, the Levitt Institute building, he would hear things about one time having heard children's voices sometimes. Um, another time he was alone in the building, I think it was, and he heard something banging at the door and because he worked nights there. The Levitt area is filled with ghost stories that are still untold. Do ghosts still roam these grounds? What do they linger on? And most importantly, with Halloween coming around, do you believe in ghosts? Thank <laughs> you.